Thank you for watching Stars Autosport. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about this. It's a 2022 Husqvarna Svart Pillen 401. I've never owned a motorcycle before. This is my first one. Um, did a lot of research and the 401 always came on top. So I've had it for about two months now. Done some modifications that I think have improved the drivability. And uh, yeah, let's talk about it. So what's my overall impression? It's a fantastic bike. Great beginner bike, 400 cc's, not the fastest thing in the world, also not the slowest. I will say initially there are a few flaws that this bike has um, that I picked up on as a new rider even. Sitting position's great. I like it. I'm about 5'11", so I sit pretty comfortably on the bike. Um, I will say the clutch lever is very chintzy. The quality is a little low grade. Same with the brake lever as well. Um, I mean, it's a $5,000 bike. What do you expect? You can't get Ducati level quality on something at this caliber. Um, but for an entry level bike, I have to say it's pretty impressive. It's a single cylinder, so you're gonna get a lot of vibration you felt in the handlebars, um, which can be annoying for some, but honestly, you know, it's a 400cc single cylinder. You're gonna get that vibration regardless. I do like the adjustable shocks up front and back. One thing I have to say that's an absolute must is the exhaust. You definitely have to get an aftermarket exhaust that you know, makes people aware that you're nearby. It's a very quiet bike from the factory. I bought this you know, SC Project bootleg exhaust off of eBay for like 150 bucks. And the quality is actually not bad and it sounds pretty good. So that was like definitely step one, do that. Um, another thing I did just cosmetically, I removed the rear fender because on these, it has this really big thing that sticks out in the back. Got rid of that. I had to go with the Project Racing um, Fender Delete. It's this nice piece of billet aluminum that just basically mounts your license plate, gets rid of all that stuff on the back there, cleans it up nicely. Um, also removed the rear pegs because I'm not going to be having any rear passengers on this thing, so did that, cleaned it up nicely there. Um, I will say the factory US style turn signals I did away with. These are micro LEDs, I'll put a link on the uh, description below for those. They look fantastic and they're actually brighter than the factory lights. So cleans it up a lot. Very, very minimalistic design. Had to go with the Husqvarna end mirrors here. These are an absolute must. Factory mirrors are just absolutely hideous. These massive antlers that stick out just kill the whole look of the bike. So I think overall it looks pretty sweet with all these minor modifications. Um, these are the front LEDs here. Really nice, really sleek. The factory ones stick out about, I don't know, two or three inches and they look just absolutely hideous. So that was a must. Definitely recommend getting a set of uh, paddock stands. Uh, I picked these up on Amazon for I think 150 bucks. Um, surprisingly not bad. Really easy to assemble. 
they do their job. I also got some paddock stand mounts at the very bottom here. These are super easy to install. Uh, it's like a Delrin, like a you know, really hard plastic. Uh, the fronts, I just basically lift on the front fork. Those are pretty simple. I highly recommend them. I'll put the link down below in the description as well. So overall, I have to say, it's just been a great bike, a lot of fun. It's not a bike I plan on keeping for a very long time. I think you grow out of this bike relatively quickly uh, into something bigger, maybe a, a 600TC. But I'm gonna be definitely hanging on to it for you know at least another summer. If anyone who's driven a Svart Pillin 401 or a Vit Pillin 401, there's a lot of low speed uh, jerkiness or hesitation at times, and they all have it. It's a very common problem. Um, I didn't really notice it at first, because again, I'm new to riding, but once you start putting some miles on the bike, you notice like a part throttle, just as you're accelerating, the bike just kind of jerks a little bit. And apparently it's because these bikes run super lean from the factory. So there's an easy fix for that, which is this guy right here. It's a FuelX Lite, that's what I have. It's a plug and play, basically intercepts your O2 sensor signal and just richens up the bike a bit. You know, I figured since I'm doing this, I might as well get the DNA stage two filter, which definitely helps top end. Not tremendously, but anything over like 45, 50 miles an hour, you notice the bike pull a bit more aggressively, whereas before it just kind of flatlined. So definitely a must. Stage two filter and uh, the Fuel X controller, it's 150 bucks. Totally, totally worth it. Takes about 15 minutes to install. I highly recommend it. Can't have a motorcycle without safety. I uh, just picked up a AGV K6S. Super lightweight, love it. Love the way it looks, highly recommend it. Awesome helmet. Um, yeah, so far I have no complaints about the Spark Pillin 401. Uh, great bike, highly recommend it if you have the chance to get one. Um, definitely gonna keep the Zoos. That thing is just an absolute blast in the city. Keeping that for sure. How long am I going to keep this? I have no idea, um, but it's it's awesome. Highly recommend it. Thank you guys again for watching Stars Autosport. Uh, this is still very much a car channel. Next episode is gonna be car stuff. So I figured, um, I've had the bike for a little bit, so I figured I'd do a quick review. So hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you guys next time.